remember the very first conversation I had with a patient. He was a burn victim and he had suffered severe burns all over his body and was in excruciating pain pretty much all the time. And he told me that cannabis gave him back his life. That was a huge light bulb moment for me. And it was the first of many, many conversations I had. I spoke to hundreds of patients of all ages, suffering from all kinds of conditions and all of them finding relief through cannabis. And it just really left me with a feeling of how can this plant that is helping so many people be illegal? I'm from the UK, I'm English, as you can probably tell from my accent. And growing up, medical cannabis was not something I was exposed to. It was just a drug and something that was addictive and harmful. You know, you're fearful of it. And so what I heard from these patients, I couldn't understand how everything I had been told was what these patients were describing. So I started looking into it. Cannabis has been used as a medicine for thousands and thousands of years, from ancient China to the ancient Greeks, India, Egyptians. It was available in pharmacies in the US, over the counter. It was one of the most widely used medicines up till about 1930. When you look at the history behind why cannabis was made illegal, it had nothing to do with its medicinal value or really science or facts. It was propaganda, it was political, and to be completely honest, it was criminal. When I was 26 years old, I felt a lump at the side of my breast. I went to the doctors. I was told that it was probably nothing and that I should come back if it was there in a couple of months. So I did. I went traveling and then I came back because it was still there and was sent off for a biopsy. And then a few days later, I uh, was given the cancer diagnosis. And you know, when that happens, your whole world is turned upside down. Cancer can be extremely aggressive in young people. I had to have radiotherapy. I had a lumpectomy. Unfortunately, there were complications, so I had to have about 10 to 12 more surgeries over the next 12 years. And that in itself also caused complications. But overall, I was, I was really lucky. Six years later, one of the complications actually led me to the first time I tried cannabis. I felt very weak, I was very pale, so I went to the hospital and they measured my haemoglobin. And then they told me that I should be in a coma and they rushed me into ICU. I had four blood transfusions, I had an operation. While I was in hospital, after my operation, I was in a lot of pain. And I asked the nurses for more painkillers and they wouldn't give me any more. And I remembered that I had cannabis in my bag. So I'd been visiting dispensaries at the time and I bought some cannabis. And so I decided to take some and see if it would help with the pain. And it was a tincture. And so I opened the bottle and I just took a sip out of the bottle. Within a few moments, I felt some relief. And so I drank some more and I drank some more and I ended up drinking the whole bottle. And my pain went from a 10 to one. That was my very first experience of using cannabis. I left the hospital, pain starts coming back, and they've given me codeine and various painkillers, but I, I didn't want to take them, so I decided to go back to the dispensary. I bought some products, try those products, and nothing seemed to work. And so I went back to the dispensary and I bought an edible. And of course, nothing against edibles, but I knew that they were the most potent and I really just needed something to take away the pain. And unfortunately, I had too much and I had a really scary experience. I just spent the night by the toilet, throwing up all night long. And that was my second experience of trying cannabis. And all of that motivated me to better understand this plant. You know, that first experience was amazing. And had it not been my first experience and had the second experience been my first experience, perhaps my appetite for trying cannabis would be completely different. The reality is what I went through is what a lot of patients go through. A lot of people try cannabis for the first time and don't have a great experience and then never want to use it again. Or they have a similar experience to me, maybe it helps them and then they try it again and then trying to find the right product to get a specific outcome is a huge challenge for patients. And so this is one of the inspirations behind LeafWell. Cannabis has been life-changing for me. I had no idea what this plant could do and how it was helping people. And then having become a patient myself 
and having first-hand experience of how cannabis can help me replace painkillers. To feel like I was back in control of my life when it had been turned upside down. Years later, it's turned out to be a real blessing. Learn more about cannabis and begin your medical cannabis journey at leafwell.com.